Hey you guys, how you doing? Chris Ra at Sun City Lawn Care. How you guys doing? Happy belated Merry Christmas. Getting ready for New Year's Eve. I'm sure everybody's getting their lawns ready out there. Getting them nice and green if you've got some uh, winter grass. Perennial rye or tall fescue making it look sharp for the big old party coming up. So today's video, um, man, winter lawn care. What could you guys be doing? What should we be doing? Uh, that, that could be answered in a multitude of ways, but I want to address my my fellow El Pasoans here in West Texas. What should you guys be doing? Well, before I get to that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Check out some of my other content. If you guys got questions about lawn care here in West Texas or any part of the United States, because I make a lot of content. I got a lot of different grass ups that we take care of with the company, uh, but I like to demonstrate what I do in my own backyard. So that's the purpose of today's video is winter lawn care and what I do in my own backyard. Our clients, we, we ended that first two weeks of uh, November. We're letting my tall fescue clients, um, let, we're letting it do its thing. Uh, we're not mowing any tall fescue right now. The temperatures here in El Paso, we're in the 50s, the low 50s. Soil temperatures, um, the lows are in the 30s, okay? But let's talk soil temperatures real quick while I got you here. Got my little handy dandy thermometer already doing the soil temp. We're at, looks like 48 degrees on the soil temperatures, okay? Now that's in the sunny area, and as you guys can see, I've got some shade here. Typically, the difference between my shaded rock wall area and portion of the grass and where the sun actually hits, and it's like this every winter for me, um, is usually about 10 degrees. So we're pushing 48 here in the shade. It's probably about 38 degrees over there in the shade. So winter lawn care, what can you guys be doing? If you are if you got Bermuda, which I do, uh, hybrid Bermuda underneath my rye grass, you leave it alone. It's dormant. There's nothing you can do except if you've got leaves okay so for example neighbors leaves they fly into the yard they fly into the pool we do clean up leaf clean up that's all you can do if you're a gardener like i am and you're growing some vegetables you've got some responsibilities there you got to keep watering uh check that out look at the size of this by the way that is purple cauliflower you got some watering to do. You can keep a good organic fish fertilizer down in the soil system if you want. But you know, once you get into those freezing soil temperatures, Bermuda grass guys, you just leave it alone. Stay off of it if you can. Um, keep the dog feces off of it. Let the dogs do their business. But uh, there's no fertility program involved throughout the dormancy period of Bermuda grass. But today, what can Chris do to his perennial ryegrass? Well, two things because I find myself being a little complacent with my winter lawn care program because, you know, this is actually the second season I've overseeded my Bermuda grass with perennial rye. And this is by far the best that it's ever come out, okay? So I still have to maintain it. So we still cycle the sprinkler system. I'm doing probably once, maybe twice a week. I've got it programmed. Um, we use uh, the Orbit sprinkler system. And so it's got a rain delays and wind delays on it and in the winter time we experience a lot of wind as you guys can probably tell in this video so it'll delay it for 24 hours and if i don't check it it'll water probably once a week okay which is fine too in the winter because if you're watering uh, your bermuda lawns in the winter which you should you only need to water it once a week good nice deep watering one time a week you just want to keep those roots nice and moist okay you don't want them to dry out but what can I do with my perennial rye? Going back to my complacency, because I still got to maintain it, is mow it. So I, I mowed it about two days ago and it's nice and flush. And the reason why I mowed it is because I got a new, I got a American Staffordshire Terrier right there. Blue nose, okay? And the guy craps all over the yard. <laughs> So stay tuned for some future videos on how to maintain a lawn when you've got a couple pups around or dogs because I'm gonna get into some products um, that I'm gonna try out for the, the, the nice little golden circles, the little pea spots. And now we got two dogs at the house. So. 
anyways more content there but anyways going back to the maintenance mowing it keeping it short keeping it short um and as far as keeping it short i'm only cutting it about maintaining about two inches in height and the reason for that is the dog feces i can't see it when this ryegrass is too tall uh the kids are playing out in the backyard and so i don't want to step in it which i've already done multiple times so i keep it short keep it maintained keep it mowed and then uh, that way I can see that dog poop and pick it up real quick, which is a daily process anyway. So going back to soil temperatures, I've got soil temperatures at 48 degrees. Um, I know in a previous video, I showed you guys a spot over there where our poodle sitting at, there's some yellowing. Okay, let's go check it out real quick. And it's it was flattening out and I've seen it before in ryegrass and some of our clients' lawns. Uh, where they did their own overseeding and they asked us to come maintain it and see the nice little dog pee spots. But right there, it's it's a fungus issue, okay? So cooler temperatures, increased humidity or moisture in the air, whether it be rain or snow, you're gonna have some fungus issues. Uh, very possible in the winter. Uh, brown patch for your northern grass types, perennial rye get some brown patch uh red th red thread is another one uh, we did have a client call us out for that that had some red thread inside of the perennial ryegrass which it can be a couple different things it could be a nutrient deficiency uh or simply some lawn fungus okay and i'm watching the dog right now guys sorry he's just roaming around it he loves his green grass so today we're gonna to be doing two things, winter lawn care. We're gonna go ahead and put down some fertilizer. I've got a 1608 Humic DG from Andersons. Oops, sorry. Humic DG from Andersons that we're gonna be putting down. This is just some stuff I'm getting rid of inside of the garage there to make room for our uh, pallets of fertilizers coming in for the next season. And I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the rest of this. I've got, you know, high enough soil temperatures. We're not frozen ground by no means. So is it okay for me to put down a winter fertilizer application? Yes, because um, I still want it to thrive because I still got January to go into, which here in El Paso, we typically are in the high 40s, okay, on temperatures. And in February, we get into the 50s, which we do our first pre-emergent application. And then we start bumping up into the 60s in March, 70s in April. We got Bermuda coming alive. So I, knew, I still want to keep this nice and green uh, and thriving. So the 1608 Humic DG, uh, two reasons for the application. One, I still want to keep the nutrients in the soil system and the perennial ryegrass thriving. And then reason number two is it's got the humic acid. It's got 12% of humic acid inside of it, which I want to keep adding to my soil system, okay? That's the, one of the key elements or key applications you can apply to your soil is that humic. Uh, it enhances that humid layer, okay, guys? And then iron. It's got a little bit of iron, 2% iron inside of it. I don't need the green. As you guys can tell, it's nice dark green anyways, except for the little, little pea spots. And then the second thing I'm gonna be applying today is a fungicide. I'm gonna go ahead and put down some exoxystrobin. It's a granular, if you can see it on the table. It's gonna be a Heritage G that we got over at domyhome.com. Check them out, they got all the supplies you guys need. You can't get this stuff at the big box stores locally, okay? Um, if you guys need some help on finding it or pinpointing it, let me know in the comments below. I'll tell you exactly where to go to get it or give you the URL or whatever it is. Outside of that, those are my two applications. That is my winter lawn care that I'm doing here in the back end of December going into the new year. There's no leaves, I've already done that. Um, so we're just gonna do a fertilizer application and a simple fungicide application. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. If you wanna know any of my processes or what steps I'm gonna be taking in January for the new year to prepare my Bermuda to come out of dormancy, stay tuned or leave me a comment below. If you guys need any help at all or have any questions, always subscribe, like, give me a comment below. Ciao guys.